Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Recharging yourself is important. Recharging yourself is important. Now, people who follow me regularly know I just recently went on vacation and just coming off of vacation as of the recording of this podcast. And I'm going to tell you what, you got to recharge yourself. You got to recharge yourself because... Even when you're doing things that you love, and I definitely love everything that I'm doing, you can still get tired. You can still get tired. You're working hard. You're putting in your best effort. You can get tired, very tired. Indeed, that's why the leisure industry is so big. People need vacations. People need to relax. You, you need to do that because you're expending so much energy, even when you're doing something you love, and I'm going to get into things you don't love in a second, that you just need to stop and relax. You need to stop and relax. You need to change the routine. Sometimes you just need some sleep. And that's, and that's, just, and that's doing stuff that you love. Because even when you do something you love, you, you still going to get tired. You're still human. You still need to change up. And even if you're just taking a brief break from it, there's nothing wrong with that. And those are things you love. So imagine, imagine that you're doing stuff that you don't love. Let's, let's be honest. The majority of us are on jobs that really stress us out, that create a lot of tension. Um, that's why... And I say I read this before, and this was uh, this was decades ago. I read this that most heart attacks occur at nine a.m. on Monday. Now that could be uh, apocryphal, or I'm not sure, but it would make sense because if you think about it, we have a whole industry. We have whole industries, uh, whether it's donuts or coffee, sugar, stimulants, just to get people to uh, work. I mean, seriously, to keep going. It, you have so much out there. So imagine what that's doing to you. If you can get tired doing something you love, what about when you're doing something you don't love? But you have to. And in that case, especially just taking time off, taking time away from a job that's stressing you out. And, and, that, and I'm saying that's just a job. Sometimes it's just everyday life. I mean, the reality is life itself out here can be tough for the overwhelming majority of us. The overwhelming majority of us, no, regardless of how much money we're making. We need to take breaks. Thinking of that, like getting back to what people love or what they're making money with. You'll notice uh, top executives, CEOs, people like that, they'll take a lot of vacation. I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> they take a lot because of all the stress that they're under. And it's something that they need to do. So, and really, it's not even just taking a vacation. It's not even just taking a vacation. Sometimes it's just taking time off to rest, maybe even every single day, maybe just take an hour and do something just to relax yourself, maybe just to uh, take a nap, you know, and oh, I said this before uh, decades ago, in civilized countries, they have siestas <laughs> during the day, you know, the lunch hours, are, yeah, lunch hours, lunch three hours, but they realize people just need to take time, but then you get more work done. And recharging yourself really helps you just to really do well. You have energy to do it. Because I'm going to tell you what, and you know, people know me for talking about going to the gym and everything, but anybody who works out, personal trainers will tell you it's just as important to get rest. Yeah, you can throw up all those muscles or run all those miles, but sometimes you just need to rest. You need to recharge yourself. You need to energize yourself. You need to do things. You know, and it's not just resting, but maybe just engaging in activities that uh, take your stress away. To get uh, doing stuff to relax you, stuff that is fun. That's a very important thing. 
That's very important. I can't stress it enough. And and this is coming from someone uh, who's a self-described workaholic. (laughs) Yeah, I'll just be working, working, working. I've had had people tell me in the past. I've had several people say, Ron, you need to relax. Ron, you need to chill out. Because one of the things is you start getting stressed, you're working hard. Shoot, people can feel it sometimes. And you do. So, you know, if I say that, because I've gone through it, but sometimes you just, you, you can't, you know, I know like one morning right before I recorded a couple mornings straight, instead of getting up in my usual three in the morning, I slept at five in the morning. I was like, wait a minute, I'm tired. But instead of just saying, oh man, I'm sleeping later than I usually do. I say, you know what? I just need that rest. I just adjust my schedule. Yeah, uh, you know, I'll just adjust my schedule, you know, because seriously, like I remember a woman I worked for. She was a manager in the past and she had a heart attack. She had a heart attack. She didn't die. She didn't. She didn't die. Thankfully, she lived. But she was a workaholic. She was a she was a type of, you know, technically a nine to five person. But her I was a, she was usually like eight to seven. After she had, she came back after the heart attack, but she'd be walking out with the rest of us at five. She was like, uh, no more, no more. And that's important. Rest is very important. Rest is sacred. Uh, for those who follow the Christian Bible, even God rested on the seventh day. Even God rested on the seventh day. So that's very important. It's very important just to take some time, relax, rest and indeed um i'll shout out uh one you know you know i don't promote particular uh spiritual uh denominations or paths but i will shout out uh seventh day adventist i've had a really dear friend rest her soul who was a seventh day adventist and i remember hanging out with her a couple times on a saturday and it really moved me that seventh day adventist chill out on saturdays now, as I say, this is not promoting a particular path, but this is saying what one path did, because I'm definitely not a Seventh Day Adventist. But I was like, you know, that makes sense, and that's something I've actually adopted personally. Anyway, I would just relax. But then, you know, even from childhood, there's one day of the week. I, you know, usually it would be a Sunday. I would just relax, and that's very important. That is very important, just to recharge yourself, regardless of your spiritual path. Just take a time, day, whatever. You don't even need a spiritual path. Just do it, whatever. Just just relax. Just relax, okay? Recharge yourself. It's very important. So that's all I have for today. I want y'all to spend it, take the rest of the day, y'all. Recharge yourself. Or pick a day in the week, pick a few hours, do everything from maybe a retreat, take a vacation. Uh, you could recharge yourself going for a walk around the block. Or you could do like my son does, recharge himself by sitting and watching some crazy comedy. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have for today. I want to I wish everybody rest and relaxation. Peace.